What fascinates me about the history of this house is that so much is unknown. I mean, it is called Winchester Mystery House for a reason. Why was it built with so many architectural oddities, like doors that lead to the outside or staircases that lead to the ceiling? So you are exploring Sarah Winchester's incredible mansion with a little flashlight and maybe just a friend or two alone. When I first started, I was a little nervous. The hair stood up on the back of my neck a little bit. Using a little flash in a like big space, dark room, you don't know what's gonna happen until you flash your light at it. We have uh, collected a lot of the more popular stories associated with paranormal or unexplained happenings here at Winchester Mystery House. And you're gonna get to hear about those stories as you explore through the home. And oftentimes you're hearing about them in the exact space where it was witnessed. I had a friend that said she saw a ghost. I heard a knock that no one else heard. And we all heard a weird creaky noise at one time. I just got the shivers like something was watching me when I was in there. The anxiety you get when you're in there, it just, it's like a rush. It makes, it makes it fun. Sarah Winchester, she fell in love with and married the second president of the Winchester Repeating Arms Company, William Wirt Winchester. They had a baby girl named Annie who unfortunately passed away at just a few weeks old and William passed away not long after. Sarah began to feel really cursed. She sought out a medium and the medium told her that the gun that won the West, uh, all of the karma associated with that was, was haunting her and her family. And if she went out West and built a house to appease the spirits and maybe confuse the bad ones, she would live forever, and uh, in a way she has, because this house is still here, being enjoyed and visited by guests from around the world. We have done flashlight tours historically. What's different this year is that guests cannot be combined with any other parties that they don't live with. So it necessitates us offering an experience that is truly self-guided with just you and your immediate household unit. I loved it because I love history. I'm a big history buff, so this was really fantastic for me. And I was looking for ghosts. I've done the tour before in the, the daylight, the regular tour, so having to do this tour in like a different way, it's kind of like very interesting. Really odd and you know, just kind of bizarre walking through and seeing these this weird architecture, so that's what I liked about it. This truly is a living time machine, and coming here is like stepping back into Sarah's time. I was a little scared at first, but then I started to get less scared, and it was really fun. It's just an experience that you have to experience for yourself.